Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to DJ World 2019. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, today finally we're going to be reviewing or start reviewing some of the Dragon Majesty decks that um, might make an appearance on the competitive scene or in the casual scene as well or in PTG or whatever. Um, basically I'm not very impressed with this set. Um, I don't think there's a lot that this set can do in order to be like really really good um however blaze again is one of my um all like all-time favorite cards and pokemon this card is a reprint of the older blaze again um, which had 100 hp the fire start ability was the same the art was the same and the fire stream attack dealt 50 damage and 10 damage to the bench so the damage definitely got bumped up quite quite a bit um, I'm really excited to see the place again. Honestly, I'm very very excited and We are going to be reviewing place again. We're going to be reviewing Alteria and we're going to be reviewing um, King Dredge GX. Yeah, since all of you guys really wanted to see it yesterday. So um, this is um, This is what the deck is built around the fire starter ability allows you to attach a fire energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So similar to Malamar, except Blazing and actually has a lot of HP and its attack fire stream deals 90 damage and you discard a fire and you deal 20 damage to your opponent's bench Pokemon. So it's actually a pretty decent attacker as well. Weak to water, double retreat cost, which is not too bad. And we have the Blazing and GX to go with it. Blazing and GX with its humongous 240 HP its first attack slash is a very solid attack, dealing 60 damage right off the bat. Then explosive kick deals 210 damage and you discard 2 fire energy from this Pokemon, which obviously has a lot of synergy with um, Blaze Again, the non-GX Blaze Again because you get to repower up the Blaze Again GX. Single retreat cost also makes this pretty good. And then Blaze Out GX, you discard 2 energy from your opponent's Pokemon, so it's a good solid tactic if you're um, hard pressed to do something about that. Um, we're combining Blaze again with good old Zorak GX. Um, I was thinking about my old Blaze again deck and I was like, well, Blaze again back then with uh, Delcaddy, which was discard an energy and draw 3 cards, was really good. So Zorak is kind of like a Delcaddy, except not really, but. Um, it's more powerful than Del Caddy. It draws one less card, but it's basically the same thing. And I feel like with Zorg and Malo, we should be able to set up our Blaze again. So we have one Alolan and Volt Picks and two Tabulaeus for draw support as well. And then, um, supporters wise, we have um, four Guzma for Cynthia, one Apricorn Maker, double Lily, double Malo, and one Tayla Lisa. Um, items wise, we have the four Ultra Ball, four Nest Ball, and two Timer Ball Engine, which has been pretty good or has been working out pretty good, especially in Zorak decks. Four Red Candy, so that we can evolve into Blaze Against one Rescue Stretcher, and then Triple Max Potion. Um, both Blaze Against go really well with the Max Potion, they tank a hit and then you Max Potion them. Um, Zorak also does very nicely with um, Max Potion. So yeah, not a bad, um, not a bad combination there. And finally, ten basic fire energy, which we can really recover. Yeah. So let's jump into a ladder and see what we can do with um, our blaze again deck. There we go. Um, I don't have high hopes, honestly. I don't have high hopes for a deck. Um, I couldn't think of any other version to build with Blaze again. Um, I thought about Blaze again Hole, Blaze again Turtonator, um, Blaze again Reshiram, but this way, like with the Zorak support, felt like the best. And then the self-sustaining Blaze again with Blaze again GX. That's our goal for this game. And hello, Joe. I am doing well. Thank you. How about yourself? Um, getting to go first is very nice. And Ledranger, I mean, I don't think Blaze again is going to be a big part of the meta, so I don't think you have to worry about that too, too much. When is Dragon Majesty legal in real life, the top player gaming? Dragon Majesty will be legal on... Not this Friday, but the next one, I think. I think. Um, our hand really sucks. We're just going to have to play a Cynthia. I don't know what I'm up against. It could be Zorobot. It could be something different. I don't even get an energy to potentially retreat. So I'll just have to pass. Um, 
I think it's not this Friday, but the next one, like the third Friday of September, which would be the 21st, I believe. I'm not 100% sure though. And hey Julian, have I joined a new team? No, I have not. I have not joined a new team just yet. Um, okay, so we see a Tivard field and a Cynthia, so I assume this is a Zoropod now, based on that discard. And yeah, definitely after Philly. Definitely after Philly. So yeah, it is September 21, yeah. I thought about I thought that was right, but I wasn't sure. I wasn't a hundred percent sure. So we're gonna see an Apricorn Maker, we're gonna see a double Zerua set up here. Which I understand. We need Blazik in this bueno, as yes, Pablo. Gonna see a nest ball. And the top player gaming. I'm working on getting those Pokemon for you. <laughs> and Focus Fox, thanks so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I'm pretty sure we're very close to 4,000 followers. Yeah, we're 50 away or 51, I guess. Okay, so we can time revolt here. Zoro Macargo. We get one heads, so I can start. Oh wow, I priced two plates again. You're kidding me, right? First game of playing plates again, and I'm already far behind because of the price cards. Jeez. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and rare candy that. I am going to attach to the active. I'm going to retreat into the Vulpix. Um, there was an argument to Guzma up the Slugma to maybe protect my Vulpix, but I think this is fine. I'll fire starter onto my own plate again. And then I will bacon. I'm going to bacon for Zorua and for a Tapu Lele here. Fully expecting my Vulpix to go down. Um, so don't have high hopes of that surviving, but it is what it is. There's a Zorg. We're gonna see the Macargo immediately. Yes, we are. So very nice start for my opponent. He can smooth over trade for the PC. He needs to knock out my full picks. That will slow me down a little bit, but we'll see. And Palladium, thanks so much for the follow. Um, Jedi, I'm doing well, thank you. How about yourself? Um, the move was um, tiring, but everything went okay. And the internet guy came on the day of the move, which they told me I would need to wait between seven to 10 days after I fold. And so the day of the move was gonna be day one, like seven to 10 business days. And the day of the move was day one. So I had no idea when I was gonna be back streaming and whatnot. But then all of a sudden the internet guy came on the day of the move. So we still had everything in boxes and everything, but it ended up working out very, very nicely. Okay, so. Oh, today's your birthday, Jedi. Happy birthday. <laughs> Very nice. Happy birthday to you. Um, okay, so we are in a lot of trouble. We are definitely in a lot of trouble here. I will bench the Zura. I will Lele for a Cynthia yet again, I believe. And then I think it's attach energy to the active. Yeah. Not looking great for us, but <laughs> I had two Guzmas in my previous hand, and now I have two more Guzmas in this hand. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I don't think this deck, I don't think we're gonna win this one. Definitely don't think we're going to win this one. I thought about playing Steven's advice. And not Steven's advisory, <laughs> this is a world card. Steven's resolve in this. Um, but yeah, we're not in a good situation here. And with the Bard Field and Professor Kukui, my opponent can definitely KO my Zorg. My opponent can definitely, definitely KO the Zorg. So that is not good news. There we see that the Den getting discarded. There we see another Zorg. Google Post Choice Man gets my friend the knockout at Guzma, allows him to pick up my Zorua, which also wouldn't be very good. But yeah, I might just end up conceding this game rather quickly, to be honest. 
No, we're just gonna see a straight up Righteous beating for 100 damage. Okay, I'm okay with that. Um, the Ultra Wall is nice. It can get me a Lele or a Zorg, but I think I need a Lele more than the Zorg. Um, so let me do that. And then I think I have to Cynthia, right? I have to Cynthia again. Um, I could heal, I could heal my blade again, um, but I also need to attack at some point eventually. Um, I do get it potentially an attack of. Um, or I could play it safe ish and retreat, kind of. Uh, no, I don't think I can. So I just get an attack off, right? I think that's all I do this turn. Yeah, I mean, I could retreat into Lele or not, but I think I'm better off just attacking here. We're getting somewhere, maybe. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. We're slowly setting up. The deck looks clunky. It is very clunky indeed, Dalton. It is very clunky indeed. How many Blaze GX in the deck? Two? There's three regular Blaze and two. Um, Zoro Blaze seems like a good team. PTC Joe hasn't been very kind lately. I agree, Crave so. <laughs> PTC Joe has been very, very harsh. Very, very harsh. Um, do you think the Oxys is a worthy inclusion in Zorark decks? Um, I mean, potentially, Palladium. Potentially, there's um, there's merit to having the Oxys. Um, it can one KO bus checks, as you mentioned, but it's not like super, super certain. Um, there is merit to it. There is definitely some merit to it. Uh, okay. Well, like, I don't want to say no. <laughs> Great, so thank you so much for the 100 bits. Thank you so much. I feel like if there, if you expect a lot of puzzle in your meta, then uh, Deox is definitely a worthy inclusion. If you don't expect a lot of puzzle, then probably not. Yeah. Hello, Joe Bro. Okay, that Zoro draw was not great. I'm just gonna grab another Torchic. Oh, my Blaziken is prized. That's right, I forgot I had a Blaziken prized. I actually forgot none. I have two Blaziken's prized. I have two of these regular Blaziken's prized. So at best, I'm gonna get two energy this turn, which is not very nice. I won't be able to attack with Lele either. I'm gonna be able to do this. It's just, I'm not very self-sustaining at this point. If I could set up two place against then maybe this could get me somewhere, but not where I'm at right now. I think I'm gonna get rid of the Kuzma, which is find this other friend. I have three of my five place against Bryce. On the first game, I decide to showcase this deck. Like, how sad is that? Um, okay, so do I wanna play it cool here? Because if I attach to the combo skin, my opponent just immediately targets it, right? My opponent just immediately tar targets it. Yeah, it's exactly like the old version with Delcaddy TRQ. That's what I was aiming for, but it's just not looking great at this point. Um, I mean, I have to get something ready, right? So maybe I attach here and then I fire starter onto the Zorg. I think if we didn't prize two place against, we might have had a chance. Might have. Very big might have. Yeah. Um, we're gonna see another Zorg. But I don't think we can beat my opponent's a Zorg with us. If we, if we had one to kills with place against GX, then this would be a whole other game. A whole other game. Against Baby Bot, the Bard Field is indeed better, Palladium. Um, hello, Stefan. Thanks so much for being here. I mean, I think we would have been able to set up at some point here. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> YouTuber, think too much for the pit. I feel like if I had a place you can, another place you can to set up, I would. I would definitely be in an okay situation. Okay. So I'm gonna mallow for. Yeah, it's just. How do I have all of these? I don't think I grab the place again. I think I go for two fires? No, a fire and a lily, I guess. Yeah, a fire and a lily. And then I'm gonna go ahead and trade the nest ball. Okay, so I'm going to fire starter onto this guy. And then I'm going to retreat and attack with this guy. And I'm not gonna use my max potion just yet. If he targets down the Lele, I want him to target down the Lele. Honestly, I want him to target down the Lele. I really wouldn't mind that because that gives me an opening to find the place can GX and get two prizes on probably a clean Zorark. You know? Probably a clean Zorark. Um, would you worry more about taking a Shrine Dex, Vika Dex, or both for this weekend, Joe Bro? I mean, there's going to be a lot of everything this weekend. Um, but the recent like surge of Shrine Dex in Brazil, I feel like is the response to um, the early meta, in a way. There we see the Kuzma onto a Lele. Perfect. Okay, I generally don't mind that. I generally do not mind that. Because with max potions, we might be able to outstall my opponent. And then if we are able to find, they should have already lost three Kuzmas. And I think I only have three. Maybe I have a fourth. But the issue is I won't be able to attack back to back to back um, with my Blaziken GX. That's the biggest issue here. That is the absolutely biggest issue. But we'll see, we'll see. Off of this Lily, I 100% need um, Maybe I should have max potioned. I 100% need Blazing and GX and a Fire Energy. Yeah. Um, and Tech Flender, I already showed the list, I already went over it, but of course I'll, I can show it again. Yeah. What would I recommend for Expanded this weekend? Very hard to say, honestly. Very hard to say. I haven't played any of the new Expanded. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, come on, I need any Ultra Ball, or my Blaze again, or even a Timer Ball. That's not very kind of the deck. Jeez. We just can't catch a break. We just cannot catch a break. Oh, we still have Trade. Oh my gosh, I just missed Bleed. I forgot I had Trade. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get it here, aren't I? Okay, no, I didn't. <laughs> okay, that was very silly. That was actually very silly. Um, Joe, no, Champions Festival, like, the issue with Shrine is not the extra damage. The issue with those decks is Baby Puzzle just does a number on Zorark. So, Devar Field is 100% way better as a, as a tech card, if you will. Yeah, it's 100% better. Okay. We see a Riot just beating my opponent doesn't even bother trading. <laughs> That's insane. And next card is a timer ball. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna see a Blaziken GX take the first KO here. We're gonna evolve, I'm gonna attach. And it discards two energy, right? So uh yeah. It discards two energy. So we'll do that. We shall trade the Apricorn. And there we have the Max Potion. And we already have the Kuzma here. So we definitely want a Max Potion to prevent my opponent from KOing me. And we're just gonna Explosive Kick here. Explosive Kick for 210. We get two prize cards. I need an non GX place again. No, I needed a non GX place again. Darn. To be able to max push and Guzma and get another KO. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? <laughs> 
We had not seen any indication of the ghost word. I guess that's an indication. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No rescue stretcher? There is rescue stretcher in the deck, but I prized two placicans. That's the issue. I prized two placicans. Why was my opponent not trading? There's absolutely no reason not to trade. Devoured field. Is he just trying to KO me with Kukui and energy? I mean, I guess he can. Ah, oh, jeez. I mean, it was always an uphill battle, right? But generally, guys, if I had not prized all of my blaze against, I would have had a good chance. I would have had a good chance against that deck. Wow, energy recycle system. <laughs> Wow, what a show off. What a show off. Oh well. Let's go again. Yeah, let's go again. Uh, we need to keep trying. We'll see if we can make this work. But I generally think that if we had not priced two of the regular blades again, it would have been a whole, a whole other story. Okay. So what did you miss? Um, furry gap. Lately <laughs> start with a dead hand. Against us, of course. <laughs> dead Lately start against us. Okay, the Cynthia top deck is nice. Uh, I'm tempted to grab the full picks, actually. I'm tempted to grab the full picks. Uh, are we actually up against the Swampert deck again? <laughs> are we actually up against the Swampert deck again? So we... <laughs> right at the back we have weakness disadvantage. Oh well. Uh, oh well. Did I already play Reshiram Ho? No. I'm not going to play Reshiram Ho. Reshiram is not a good card. Like, what's the advantage of playing Reshiram with Ho? I don't get it. Yeah, we play the fire deck, we're up against a Swamper deck, and with a terrible start against us as usual. <laughs> we get an awful Lele with Vulpix, he gets triple Mudkip with turn one Lele. It's like... Ah, oh, it's so frustrating. Oh well. We're not gonna win anyways, because we're up against the Swamper deck. So let's just not even bother. Yeah, let's just not even bother. Let's not waste each other's time. And let's just try to find any hand. Generally any hand. Like after I get all of these strings for these strings of games, of such bad games, I start thinking about all the YouTubers that um that only show games where they win and it's like I mean that's potentially a good idea because I'm not able to showcase any deck it feels like with the way I draw lately. Any deck. <sighs> oh well. <laughs> See ya Jedi. Happy birthday once again. Hope you enjoy. Okay, Delmice, Capricorn Maker. So we're up against Metagross. So now we have the weakness advantage. <laughs> Lead game seems decent with Zork. Like, off of that first game, I generally think if we didn't prize two plays against, we would have been in an okay position. We just fell so far behind. We had to stall so much. That was the biggest issue. We had to stall so, so much. So, so much. Eh, Pablo, no, la verdad no, porque intentas ganar a base de que tu oponente sea malo y no tenga respuesta a tu deck. Entonces, no, no me parece buen deck. Um, yeah, baby please again trying to flush I thought about that as well. Um, I don't know if you can 
really do that. Um, like, without laylays and whatnot, because it's not the same as uh, pure basic and stage one setup deck than, um, than setting up a stage two without the use of laylay or without the use of a lot of stuff. Yeah, but there is some merit to, um, like, a pure place and spread deck with Shrine of Punishment. Uh, I should have grabbed both things, probably. But we can just peck here. <laughs> we'll peck the Dominus for 10. Um, just that it's Hyper God. Yeah, like, I know, I know. It's just, it's, it's very frustrating. Since yesterday, <laughs> PTC Joe has generally been telling me, like, nope. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen for you at any point. Oh well. Um, someone subscribed and I think either I missed a notification or it didn't show up. Uh, yeah, there's no notification for anyone subscribing. So, yeah. Reality Gamer, yeah, Kiawe to Restaurant. Why is Kiawe to Restaurant better than Kiawe to Ho? Is he an acrobike? And like after you get one Kiawe, how do you power up another rich run? That's the biggest issue. Or another hole. That's the biggest issue with the deck. You can never power up enough Pokemon. Okay, so we're gonna see a full fix. We have no way to attack the hand, so we can't prevent this beacon. But generally, I mean, we don't one shot the Metacross with regular Blaze again because we're not running Choice Band. So we only hit for um, 90, and even if we did have choice band, we would hit 120 times 2 to 40. Um, uh, we are threatened, honestly. We are threatened by the meta growth next turn, because my opponent already has energy with this card bomb. So I'm gonna synth, you know? Not bad, not bad to draw this. Double heads, so something really strange happening today. <laughs> um, I definitely wanna. Ugh. I mean, no, I don't think there's much of a difference. Basically, that was unsaining. Unsaining concept. Um, so I'm gonna trade one of the blaze against and then I evolve. Or do I. Okay, this helps. This is nice. We can just go out into our own full picks. Retreat into it, still attach an energy, and then beacon. We're gonna beacon for another Torchic and another place again. Why not? So we can start pinning. Um, Luis Motiv, la suscripción está en dólares en Twitch. And how you have, what do I have lined up for stream? Um, Jaguar, do I remember the time we planked in Seattle a couple years ago? No, I generally don't, Jaguar. Um, so how you have today? We have uh, Blaziken and Zorg. Then we have um, Altaria GX with Altaria, and then we have um, Kingdra GX for today. Not very competitive text, but we're giving them a chance. Yeah, we're giving them a chance. Oh, I'm not showing the bits battle thing there we go why didn't you guys tell me i was not showing the bits thing okay so we see a guzma is my point going to G uh, algorithm gx here probably right i wouldn't it's probably going to algorithm gx so there's no chance for me to kale the metagross gx this turn i could pick off a tapulele i could pick off and the tank. We'll see. We'll see. I already have a fire into this card, which is good, I guess. This is like, this is a, <laughs> a really boosted Del Caddy from Ruby and Sapphire. Really, really boosted. No 
Okay, and we get a Mallow, not bad. Okay, so do I go to old place again? Or do I go... I definitely benched it, poor chick. I mean, I can't go triple blaze again right now. I think I definitely evolve here. And I don't mind this Warwick attacking a hit, right? I really don't. I'm not playing any switch or anything. That's the issue. Like, I, I was also... When I played this deck, I was like, wow, this is so, like, bird bones. And then... A fire energy sounds good. A Kuzma also sounds good. I think I like those. And then I'm gonna go ahead and trade the blaze again. My Zorg should be 100% safe, right? Unless my opponent is playing Professor Kukui, which I hope he isn't. But if we lose the blaze again, I mean the Zorg, then we have the blaze again GX. So then we'll pass. Um. And I mean, Kingdra is not good competitive because it's a stage two. <laughs> that alone makes it not very competitive. Um, am I favoring any decks going into Philly Zorak decks? I feel like I'm more comfortable with Zorak decks than trying to play a bunch of supporters and playing um, a shrine deck. Um, eh, Luis Motiv. <laughs> Eh, si te suscribes en Twitch, la mitad de la suscripción, la mitad de los 5 dólares va para mí y la mitad se la queda en Twitch. Eh, en la suscripción más, más básica. <laughs> Muchas gracias por, por tan bonitos comentarios. Wow, I really need to cut my hair, don't I? Uh, Blazigan looks too slow to play properly. Agreed. 100% agreed. It misses something like Blacksmith. I disagree. I don't think... Blacksmith is what it's missing. It's missing like something to to get going. Yeah, I even thought about playing Tons Bars in this. Wow, my opponent actually has Professor Kukui. <laughs> my opponent actually has Professor Kukui in his Metagross deck. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um... Professor Kukui, Choice Band, and the Delmise. That works, right? That works. And then we're gonna top deck a fire. I feel like I definitely attach. That way um, I can hopefully explosive kick two turns back to back. I don't mind not killing a Metagross next turn. Yeah, there's the energy, but I really wanna take two more prizes next turn. And I do have the Kuzma, so. I could actually, if I top deck, no, I don't have free trigger. Uh, Luis Motif, si, si voy a ir al link up del 29, definitivamente. How can you deal it? He had Metagross deals 150, plus Choice Band 180, plus Delmice 190, plus Kukui Yeah, Registeel, interesting. <laughs> Choice bands the Registeel. I mean, that's 150, and with a Kukui, that's a lot of damage. Um, okay, so my opponent very, very nicely, very smartly, uh, chooses to go with a Registeel and non-GX attacker. However, he's only gonna deal 90 damage because Blitzigan GX has no ability. Yep, 90, 100 damage because of the Delmites, I guess. Uh, what is Blaze against GX attack? Blaze on GX, you discard two energy from your opponent's Pokemon. Okay, so what's my play here? I definitely want to Guzma and take two more prizes, right? I definitely want to do that with this Blaze again. 
Um, I also definitely want to try and set up another Zorua, or Zorark rather. And then if I, okay, I attach, and then I Kuzma, and then I retreat. Yeah, I think getting rid of another Metagross is the right way to go about this, right? And OMG Spy, thank you so much for the follow. Um, Opex, it's, it's really whatever. So I'll attach, I will fire starter. Yeah, well, the GX attack is nothing to write home about, honestly. Uh, so yeah, explosive kick, another KO. Um, basically, this might have saved my place again at this point. This might have saved my place again because this guy deals 100, this guy deals 60, and this guy deals 150, but there's no two metagross to power it up. So I'm gonna, I mean, I am up against the metal deck, right? Uh, <laughs> one that doesn't pressure you. So it gave me all the time that I needed to actually set myself up. Um, <laughs> lo siento, Luis. Lo siento, pero, pero sí, eh, en el ICOP echamos la reta. Uh, yeah, Umbrin's but cheaper. Not great. Definitely not a great GX attack to have. Definitely not a great GX attack to have. I think if you're my opponent, this is where you scoop. I mean, he might scoop when he sees the max potion. Okay, he decides to go after the place again. I'm completely okay with that. Um, he's already used up the algorithm, that's completely fine. Poor 20 damage on a Metagross GX, indeed, Alex. <laughs> okay, I mean, this is still, it's 120 damage, 130. So the choice band doesn't apply to play again. That's 140, so that's, and he played Kuzma, so he can't play Kugui. So that one is gonna really cringe when he sees this max potion, but it is what it is. Um, okay, so we see our Kuzma, I can't get a KO this turn. So I think I'm gonna fire starter onto the place again and then I'm gonna max potion my place again, the active one. I could have uh, healed the bench, but it's fine. So I'm gonna mallow for Zork and we're candy. And that should be game. It will be game next turn. Yeah, the max potion coming in clutch. Did you put one copy of Snorlax GX on Kingdra deck? No, <laughs> there's no way. There is no way. Is Zorogarp good without Cartana GX in deck? Well, yeah, I think it's fine. Ooh, there we see the Kukui. There we see the Kukui, so now the Rangy Steel will be able to knock out my place again. That's the second Kukui for my opponent, so he's playing a lot of um, damage modifiers, which is good. And sure, Silver Fist gets a knockout, but this is going to be a 100% game. That Rage Steel is pretty good though. That Rage Steel is pretty good. So we're gonna top deck the Zork, we're gonna Rare Candy into the Blaze again, or trade into the Blaze again. And then we Guzma and deal another 420 damage to that Metagross. I could have put a Fire Energy as well. It literally would have been the same thing. Um, and hello, realgames.ca. We are playing Blaze again, we are playing um, Altaria, and we are playing Kingdra. So, a lot of new cards. A lot of new cards. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
I wouldn't count this as a huge, huge victory for Blake and GX because we are up against a middle deck. Um, the Zorak matchup, I mean, Zorak does lurk, right? What are we gonna do against that? But I feel like we had a genuine chance if we hadn't priced so badly in that game. We priced three out of our five plays against, <laughs> and we don't have much else in the deck. But I'm gonna show the deck really quickly, guys, and that will be all for plays again. If you wanna give this deck a try, if you wanna build it with all non GXs and then try to build a Shrine of Punishment list where you're spreading with the plays again, that's also pretty fair. Um, the card that is covered right here is another one Volpix, a one copy. And that will be all for Blaze again. So don't go anywhere, guys. If you're watching live on Twitch, I will be right back with the next deck, either Altaria or Kingdra. You guys get to decide on chat. Let me know which one you prefer. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. And I will be right back.